Hello YouTube, welcome to new audio commentary on The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time, one of the greatest best-selling games of all time, selling more than 2 million copies within the first month and a half. And now we come to the copyrighted music part. Copyrighted music, so we can't play this track in the background. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, there's that. <laughs> ah, this truly is one of the amazing great games of the N64 era. One of the games that truly stands the test of time. Looking back, yes, the graphics weren't that great, but you know what? I have enjoy playing it every now and then. <clears throat> Especially the original version, before they changed it and added the part where Ganondorf coughs up green blood instead of red blood to make it more uh, child-friendly. But anyway, here is a little gameplay, a little footage of the game, and we'll get to the uh, commentary in a minute. Actually, we'll continue the commentary right now. As you can see, <coughs> you have the introduction, blah, 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 he says his spiel, and then the game actually starts. So, obviously, uh, my last video had a copyright flag, so that's why we're doing this commentary over the uh, over the game audio, because I know all this music is copyrighted, and they're going to flag it. Even, this th even if this thing does go viral and I get a million views, it wouldn't matter. I wouldn't make a cent off it for ads. So, anyway, <clears throat> I want your opinion, YouTubers, about the famous, uh, that famous guy, what was it, Aaron Paul, who ruined YouTube for everyone and take, took away the monetization. I want your honest opinion on why they would have done this, and what do you think, how will that affect you? Like the real famous YouTubers, like PewDiePie, Ali A, the Angry Video Game Nerd, all these people who have made tons of money off of YouTube. I want your opinion on that. We'll get back to that in a minute. But now we're going to talk about the introduction of the game. So I find this is the kind of game that, yes, the introduction takes a long, long time to get through, and every time we play it, it's like, ah, oh, another five minutes. But you know what? It's totally worth it, because the game, honestly, still stands the test of time. Like I said, it's one of the greatest games I've ever played. Majora's Mask was pretty good. This one, they knew what they were doing with Ocarina of Time. Let's put it that way. So if you like Ocarina of Time, be sure to purchase a NES Mini and pirate the game yourself. Just kidding. Go to your store, do the right thing, buy a copy of Ocarina of Time at your retro game store, and enjoy it for what it's worth. And then you can do all the cool glitches on the N64, stuff that would never work on emulators anyway. Um, but it is one of those games, like I said, it's original, it's creative, it's got stuff in it that no other Zelda game has, and it's more interesting than other Zelda games because it follows a straight path straight storyline, and eventually you get to the part where you beat Ganondorf, but he turns into Ganon. Oh, spoilers, oops. But, um, you know, it's fine. It's interesting. <laughs> so the other thing about Ocarina of Time is it never loses play value over time. The interesting thing is you can play it 100 times, even 200 times. <clears throat> You'll never get bored of it. Because it's got this unique style to it. Like, you can play Link to the Past maybe 30, 40 times. After a while, I would get pretty bored with it. But you play this game, there's so much to do, so much to see. No, but in all seriousness, um, there, there's a lot of stuff in this game, and it's totally worth it. 
the uh, the purchase. Also, there's so much to collect. There's unique characters, and you may catch stuff the second time and you're not, you've not uh, heard the first time around. So you may have skipped a scene or skipped a line or missed a sign or a number of things. And um, you really learn a lot about Link in this little game until the end, of course, in which the game just freezes because that's the end. But you do learn a lot. And you learn a lot of the backstory about Zelda and why it's called the Ocarina of Time and why it's, you know, how it fits in the timeline. And looking timeline and looking back, this may either be the first game in the timeline or the last. I don't know. If you want to have a debate about it, uh, write down below in the comments section. Tell me what you think. Uh, anyway, so this was just a short commentary on the beginning of the game because I don't have much footage recorded. But like I said, I'll record another video. Be sure to subscribe to Pop Culture too. <laughs>